the Waste Robotics can consistently pick up to 60 to 80 picks per minute compared to what a human could do at 30 to 40. Here at Recycle, we operate a mixed dry recycling facility where we have long-term contracts with local councils. So we take in their co-mingled recycled material, which consists generally of cardboard, paper, plastics, aluminium, steel and glass. And we separate that into you know, individual components, bail it up, package it up and send it on for further reprocessing. Reptac are a relatively new company to the industry. Um, we were formed about a year ago and what we want to bring to the recycling industry is modern and innovative solutions for bringing as much automation into the business as possible. Some of the challenges we face recycling material here is contamination comes in with, with the loads. Unfortunately, it's not all nice, clean, recycled material. And another issue which we're having to deal with, probably brought on more so with Brexit and COVID, is labour shortage. The whole industry, and not just our industry, are facing mounting pressures in that area. We looked at using robots and artificial intelligence previously, but that sort of fast-tracked our decision-making and prompted us to move more quickly than we previously thought we'd have to. The equipment that we've supplied here at Recycle is picking sorting robots fully automated. There's two installations that we've put in. One of them is a tandem unit that is over the top of a fibre line. So the fibre line is coming down and we want to pick out any non-fibre materials and drop them down the appropriate chutes for future sorting. The tandem cell is set over quite a wide belt and the two robots are offset so that it will cover the width of the belt. And then the other unit is a single cell over a more narrow belt. The way these robots work is that AMP Robotics have their own neural network where they have gathered up at approximately two and a half billion pictures of material from the facilities that they already have their installations in. So they use that network to decide um, with a high probability what a piece of material coming down the conveyor is and then decide where to drop that piece of material as we program it into what should to go down. So it looks down on the conveyor belt, it knows that it's a PET bottle or it knows that it's a bit of cardboard or it knows that it's a bit of waste and decides then appropriately how to drop it. So where the dual robot is at the moment, I previously had four people there. You'd run that over two shifts, that's removing eight people per day. And where the single robot is, I'm replacing two staff per day. And it's doing every bit as good a job as the, as the human labor was doing previously. The benefits I'm seeing from using robots and AI as opposed to using human labor is um, well, productivity remains consistent right across the shift. There's no breaks, you know, there's no holidays to worry about, there's no toilet breaks, there's no sickness calls, there's no Mondayitis. All of the installation process actually can be completed very quickly. For example, in Recycle, we started with our team on Friday afternoon and we had the robots up and running ready for the 6am shift start on the Monday morning. On the dual line, there was very little tweaking. We basically removed human labour and dropped the robot in. Where the single robot went in, we had to do a bit of adjustment and move a couple of conveyors. But that was done, you know, on a weekend before the actual robots arrived. An actual in installation of the robot, assuming you've got your prep work done, can be done over a weekend. That's relatively straightforward. After a period of time, the return on investment is really good. Um, a lot of these projects we're seeing an ROI in between two and three years. Throughput in any plant is very, very important, but if you're not getting good quality and product, you know, you're hiding to nothing. We're delighted that we have the robots up and running on site. We have to move with the times. It's allowed us to, you know, take back control of our plant where we don't have to worry about labor shortages out there at the moment. So what we offer in, in RapTech here is a full turnkey solution. We'll design and install the plant and the equipment, the robotics. We're there to provide the full service and backup support. You know, AMP is a American product but you need support on the ground here and we have that. And as regards the install, you know the guys are experienced from working in the waste sector for the last you know 15, 20 years. We're the first company to be using AMP technology on the island of Ireland or across the water. I think you know roll on 12 months I'd be very surprised if it's not um, on several other sites in the waste sector.